Hi, I'm Chris Harvey from QA Training. This is one of a series of videos in which I'll be showing you how to use Excel more efficiently. In this particular video, I'll be sharing some tips to use dates powerfully. I need to create a table in which I can start to record my sales and my costs for any given date. In cell A2, I need to start with today's date. I'll press Control semicolon. Control semicolon will always give me today's date. I don't really like how that date format appears. I'd much rather not have a year displayed and maybe if possible I would like to see the day of the week. So I'm going to come to the number formatting area of my home ribbon. I have the date option already selected but this doesn't tell me what day of the week it is. To do this I'll need to create a custom number format and I can access the relevant area from this dialog box launcher here. Clicking this takes me into format cells. If I change to custom, I can then create my own custom format up here. First of all, I don't really want to see the year, so I'll delete the four Ys. And you can see from the sample above, I've deleted the year from the date that will be displayed. I'll also delete that extra slash. If I put in three letter M's, this will tell me what month in abbreviated format the date refers to. And by doing this, I don't really need the slash key here. I'll replace that with a space. Finally, if I want to put in the day of the week, I can add three letter Ds. And you'll see that this is showing me Monday. If I add a fourth D, then it will spell out the day in full. I prefer the abbreviated format, so I'm going to go back to three Ds. Three Ds will give you the abbreviated day of the week, 4Ds spells it out in full. If I choose OK, I now have a number format that I'm happy with. I want to record my sales for every weekday. I don't work on Saturdays and Sundays, so I don't want to wish to see weekends. I'm going to come to the fill handle, that's this little black square in the bottom right hand corner of my cell. I'm sure many of you know that clicking and dragging will give me a series of dates, but did you know that right clicking and dragging with your right mouse button held down gives you a menu. In this menu there are a number of options that I can choose. Specifically the one I'm interested in is fill weekdays. If I choose fill weekdays you'll see that it skips every Saturday and Sunday in my list. A very powerful way of quickly creating a table to record whatever information you need to. I hope that helps. For more information on how QA training can help you become proficient in Excel, please click on one of the links below.